Hello everyone, this is Firoz Nagar. I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. In this video, in this session, I am going to explain about the analysis of simple pin joint frame, the analysis of presses by method of joints. Uh, we have this problem statement. Uh, in the problem statement, they are asking us to find forces in each member of the truss. After finding the forces in each member of the truss, we have to state whether, whether those are in tension or in compression. They have given the length of all the members, which, which is 10 meter, and they have also given the included angle, uh, which is 16 meter. Uh, the red circle indicates that all the members are connected through pin connection. All the members are, are connected to hinge connection. The loads are given at joint B and at joint C. Those are vertically downward. And these are the length dimensions and the angle dimensions given in the problem statement. Okay. Uh, in any method, including method of joints, the first step is to find the support reactions. Here also we have to find the support reactions. Before finding the support reactions, we have to identify how many reactions we gonna get uh, in the structures. Uh, what are those reactions? So uh, at A we are having hinge support. We know from the basis that hinge support is offering two reactions, and at D we have roller support, and we know from the basic roller support is offering only one reaction. Uh, we can. Uh, identify the reactions, uh, we can define the reactions. Now when you are defining the reactions, you also have to define the direction of the reaction. So initially we don't know the direction of the reaction. When you are talking about horizontal reactions, it could be towards right direction or it could be towards left direction. We don't know. So initially we have to assume. So here we are assuming that HA is towards right. Similarly, VA and VD, it could be vertically upward or it could be vertically downward. We don't know. Initially, we have to make some assumption. If we get positive, then our uh, direction is correct. If we get negative, then we have to change the direction. Okay. So, uh, these support reactions, it can be calculated by using static equilibrium condition. Those are summation of f of x equal to 0, f of y equal to 0 and moment about any point is equal to 0. So by, using, by using these uh, equations of equilibrium, we will be able to find the support reactions. So when we are using summation of f of x equal to 0, ha is equal to 0. You see in the structure, you don't have any horizontal load. You also don't have any inclined load. Whatever external load you have, it is purely local. Okay, so HA turns out to be zero. You don't have any load, means you will not get any horizontal reaction. To find VA and VD, we have to invoke summation of uh, f of y equal to zero. So when we when we are invoking summation of f of y equal to zero, uh, we have to consider all the vertical forces and reactions into consideration, sum them and equate it to zero. Okay. Uh, the, the forces which are going vertically upward shall be taken as positive in the equation and the forces or the reactions which are going vertically downward shall be taken as negative. VA and VD are vertically upward. The load is going vertically downward. So VA plus VD, it is not VB, it is VD. Minus 10 minus 10, you will get one equation VA plus VD equal to 20 km. Uh, in, in this equation, we have two unknowns. One equation, uh, we need to find VD or VA first. To find VD, we can take moment with respect to A uh, equated to 0. To write the moment equation with respect to A, we have to travel from D to A. To write moment equation with respect to A and equated to 0. So you see, uh, you have to travel from D to A. VD is creating moment with respect to A. The perpendicular distance is 20 meter. A, A is 10. ED is 10. Summing them up, uh, we are getting 20 meter. So perpendicular distance of VD with respect to A is 20 meter. And you see, VD will be creating. Uh, VD is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to A. 
that is why it shall be taken negative in the equation minus negative to 20. Then we have vertical load at C. That is vertically downward and the perpendicular distance with respect to A will be 15. Uh, that 10 kN is creating clockwise moment with respect to A. That is why it shall be taken positive in the equation. And then you have vertical load 10 kN at B. The perpendicular distance of that 10 kN is 5 meter with respect to A. And that 10 kN also is creating a clockwise moment with respect to A. VA is not taken in, in the equation because the VA is coinciding the joint A. VA is not having any perpendicular distance with respect to A. That is why it is not taken in the equation. So when you solve this equation, uh, you, you will get VD equal to uh, 10 kN. Uh, you have to substitute the value of VD in equation 1. Uh, we will get VA equal to 10 kN. Okay, so this in this way we can find the reactions. Now you see you can solve for member forces. To solve for member forces, we have to consider a joint which has only two elements. I will tell you the reason why we have to think in that way. Uh, you see joint A is having two unknowns and joint B is having three unknowns. Joint A is having two unknowns because it is connected to two members AB and AE. And joint B is connected to D members. Okay. So, each member will have one unknown. Each member will have one unknown. And initially, you have to take only those joint which has two unknown. I will tell you the reason. You see, we are talking about, when we are talking about a joint, joint will have only two equations of equilibrium. It will not have moment equations. When we are talking about the moment equation, moment means the uh, force into perpendicular distance. Okay? But here, joint is dimensionless entity. It will have only two equations of equilibrium. So, that, that two equations of equilibrium can be used to solve two unknowns only. It cannot be used to solve three unknowns. That's the reason we have to take only those joint which has only two unknowns. So, we can consider joint A initially. Joint A is connected to two members, means it has only two unknowns. We are required to draw the free body diagram of joint A. Joint A is connected to B and C. Now we have to show the internal forces in AB and AC. The internal axial forces in AB and AC. Before that, first we have to assume we have to assume the direction of the internal forces. Okay. So what we will do? We will assume uh, that the internal forces are tensile in nature. How shall we do that? By assuming that the forces are away from the joint. So you see FAB is away from the joint, FAC is also away from the joint. What we are doing, we are assuming, we don't know the value of FAB, FAC, we don't know. We don't know whether it is in compression or whether it is in tension, we don't know. So initially what we do, we will assume, we will assume that the forces in these members are tensile in nature, means they are away from the joint. If we get positive, then our assumption is correct. If you get negative, sim simply you can say that the forces in those members are, are in compression. Okay. So, to, to find FAB and FAC, we have to invoke the uh, equations of equilibrium. So, I told you, when you are talking about joint, we have only two equations of equilibrium. Uh, we have to apply those. When we are applying summation of f of pi equal to 0, we have to consider all the vertical forces uh, into consideration. So, here we have uh, two vertical force. VA is purely vertical. It is vertically upward. That is why in the equation 10 kN is taken as positive. Then FAB is the inclined force. FAB is, can be resolved in the vertical direction. It can also be resolved in the horizontal direction. But we are very much interested in all the vertical forces. So, the resolution of FAB in the vertical direction is FAB sin 60 because 60 is angled in respect to horizontal direction. 
okay and you see the resolution of fab is vertically upward that is why in the equation it has been taken as positive when you solve that equation fab turns out to be uh, minus 11.54 kN minus means you are getting negative means the force the member force in member ab is in compression we can simply show in the member ab in the in the structure away from the joint away from the joint minus 11.54 now we can consider joint d joint d again it has uh, two members means it has two unknowns we have to draw the free body diagram of joint d uh, also have to show the reactions when we are drawing the free body diagram FCD and FED we have to show away from the joint. I told you we will be assuming that uh, the, the member forces are in tend are in tensile. We will assume that uh, it depends on the value whether it, they are in tension or they are in compression. It depends on the value. But initially, what we will do always we will assume that the member force in members are tensile in nature. It means they are away from the joint. So FCD is away from the joint. FED is also away from the joint. Okay, apply summation of F of y equal to zero. Then is going vertically upward. FCD uh, can be resolved in the vertical direction. The vertical resolution of FCD is FCD sine sixty, and the vertical resolution is vertically upward. That is why it is positive in the equation. FCD turns out to be minus eleven point five four. Means it is in compression. Uh, similarly, you can apply summation of F of x equal to zero. f of x equal to 0 uh, to joint d uh, when you apply summation of f of x equal to 0 you have to consider all the horizontal forces f ed is in in horizontal direction okay and f ed is in the left direction uh, that is why it is taken negative in the equation f cd is having horizontal resolution we have to take horizontal resolution of f cd Uh, the horizontal resolution of FCD is FCD cos 60, and the direction of the horizontal resolution of FCD is towards left direction. So both are minus. When you solve the equation, uh, you have to put the uh, value of FCD that is minus 11.54. You will get the value of FED which is 5.77 kN. After the calculation, you have to show in the main structure. In the main structure, you see ED is away from the joint. Uh, the force is 5.77. The force in member CD is also away from the joint. The magnitude of the force is minus 11.54. Now consider joint B. Joint B is connected to three members, but already we know the member force in mem one member means ultimately it has only two unknowns. So when it has only two unknowns, we can solve by method of joint. Okay. So you have to show the angles. When you apply summation of f of y equal to zero, you see uh, the ten kilonewton is vertically downward. It will come in, in the equation. F B C will not come in the equation because F B C is purely horizontal. The vertical resolution of F B E will come in the equation. So what will be the vertical resolution of F B E? F minus F B sine sixty. See the vertical resolution of F B is vertically downward. It has to be minus, and you see minus eleven point five four can also be resolved in the vertical direction. And the vertical resolution of minus eleven point five four is also uh, downward, and in the equation it shall be taken as uh, minus. Okay, so this is the equation that you are getting. F B turns out to be zero. Uh, you can call it as zero force member. Okay, we can just show in the main structure. Now, when we uh, solve, when we go for summation of f of x equal to zero, you will be calculating f b c. f b c is towards right. Uh, it is taken positive. Then uh, you have f a b. f a b means the force in member a b. The force in member a b is. Uh, uh, Towards left direction, we have to take the resolution of that. F B C turns out to be minus 5.77 kN. Okay, we have to show in the main structure. Now consider joint because we have not calculated member force in member A. 
when we consider joint A, we have to find the member force of AB as well as AE, but we have missed it out. Uh, now again, we have to consider the joint A to find member force in AE. Uh, this way we have to show new summation of f of x equal to 0 f a e plus f a b cos 60 ok so f a e will be equal to 5.77 km so in this way uh, we have to solve for number forces so when you consider joint c we have to solve for e c and you will get e c equal to 0 so we are getting two members in which the member forces are 0 those are called as zero force member and we also have to state uh, what is the nature of member forces AB is in compression BC is also in compression CD compression ED tension uh, AD tension and uh, BE and EC are zero force members thank you for watching this video Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed the learning. Thank you very much.